Hey, what's going on traders? Hope you guys are well today. This is Chris from Virtual Trading. Today's video is gonna be talking about some basic math exercises that I've been using to help myself to wake up in the morning. <laughs> That's pretty much it. So let's do it. This might help you if you trade in faster, thinner markets. Basically, I'm gonna show you a few exercises I use, mostly vocal exercises relating to doing some simple math. These exercises, I would say are for traders who are trying to become more comfortable measuring the volatility in their marketplace, okay? So a faster market like NASDAQ, I would say rotates around minimum five handles at a time. So you wanna get used to, in your head, calculating movements of five points up, five points down, six points up, six points down, and often starting from odd numbers because if you watch the markets, it rarely respects the evens. However, it really depends on the day's session. So if you watch your dome, on a session, you're gonna notice a few things. A lot of the times you'll find the market volatility will be respecting a certain range for a certain time period. And you wanna be quick to get on board with that volatility when it's happening, right? This helps you to understand how far away you need to be placing your orders, or if you shouldn't be trading at all. Because honestly, if your market's not even moving around five handles in NASDAQ, for example, you shouldn't really be trading that, let's be honest. Okay, so let's get to it here. So what you wanna understand first is the numbers that we're working with as future traders. You could go into the quarters, halves, and 75, um, but we're gonna keep it to the even numbers mostly for this video, just cause to make it nice and simple. So the numbers we're working with most of the time here in a faster market like NASDAQ, well, we have evens, which would be zero, and evens represents any even number. So it could be 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. Those are evens, right? So zeros, okay, that's an easy way to say it. From zero or evens to nines, which would be the last number in the sequence before repeating, there's a total of 10 numbers. So you can do it yourself. So let's count them together here. You have 10 fingers. So evens, ones, twos, threes, fours, fives, sixes, sevens, eights, nines, and then it restarts. So you have a total of 10 numbers there. The fact that there's 10 numbers here, that's gonna play in later in the video as I'm showing you some of these exercises. Okay, so let's start off now with a simple exercise, which will be going up and down in fives, starting from any number. It's harder if you start from an odd number. However, the fives are the easiest number to work with because there's 10 numbers total and five is exactly the halfway point, which makes it very easy to go up and down in fives. So if you start from evens, you're gonna go evens to fives, evens to fives. If you wanna do double digits, you do 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, okay? And that's really easy. The trick is here is that you wanna practice it from every number. Let's say you started from the ones. So it'd be ones to sixes, ones to sixes. Start from the twos, twos to sevens, twos to sevens. So when we get to the sevens, you're gonna notice it's a little bit more complicated to do it. That's where it starts to become good practice. So start from 11. So 11, 16, 21, 26, 31, 36, 41, 46, that's going up in fives. Now we can go down in fives. Let's start from 47, 47, 42, 37, 32, etc. Fives are the easiest. So now we're gonna try something a little harder. You want to get used to doing it in sixes and in sevens and in eights as well. Because these are numbers that the market tends to rotate around a lot. Now remember that the market is not a perfect construct. It's not always gonna be moving seven handles. It's not always gonna be moving eight handles. But when you look at your DOM and you see your pivots, having this ability to quickly calculate seven points up, quickly calculate eight points down, will help you to see things faster. And the faster you can do this, the faster you can get in the queue at the price as well. And if you're trading in a slightly thicker market, that's gonna make a big difference for you because you're gonna get ahead of traders who are slower. Let's practice this now going up and down in sevens. And now to make this exercise simple, you can keep it in single digit numbers. If you wanna make it more complicated, you can go into the double digits. What I mean by single digits is you can do this. For example, evens to sevens, ones up to eights, twos up to nines, threes up to evens, fours up to ones, right? That's keeping it from zero to nine and we don't go into double digits. When you look at your price of your market, you don't really need to be so concerned with if the market is at 80, 90, 70, 60, 50. Really what you're concerned about is where the market is now and how much it's moving and how far away you need to put your order. So you wanna calculate quickly down. So if the market's at 55 and it's moving around seven handles, 55 down seven handles to 48. I'll give you a trick now 
to help you calculate quickly up or down a certain amount. So remember, we have a total of 10 numbers. So let's say, for example, we want to go up 7. It's actually the same thing as going down 3. You'll end up on the same number. Now, guys, remember, I'm a musician. I'm not a math expert here. So we have 10 numbers total. If you take away 7, you're left with 3, which is why if you go up 7, it's the same thing as going down 3. So if you go from evens up to 7s, it's the same thing as going evens down 3 to 7s. So for example, if you have trouble going up 7, try going down 3 and then up 10. So for example, 69 is the number. You want to go up 7 handles. If you have trouble going up 7 handles, go down 3, then up 10. So 69 down 3 is to 66, then go up 10 to 76. So 69 to 76, that's your seven handle movement. I went down three because I had a hard time going up seven, okay? Now this works with any number you choose. So if you're working with eights in our group of 10 numbers, then the opposite of eight would be two, meaning that if you go down eight numbers, it's the same thing as going up two numbers. For example, the market is at 65 and we wanna calculate eight handles below. Instead of going eight handles below from 65, go up two to 67, then go down 10 to 57. So again, that's a simple way of helping you do that calculation. So I'll do a couple of demonstrations of some of these exercises. So you might wanna wake up in the morning, you wanna get used to going up and down in sevens from any number in the sequence. Here we go. Evens down to threes, evens up to sevens. Ones down to fours, ones up to eights twos down to fives twos up to nines threes down to sixes threes up to evens fours down to sevens fours up to elevens fives down to eights fives up to twos or twelves so that's sort of the exercise you can do and you can repeat it over and over again you want to get going doing this with any number and if you work within that span of 10 numbers you're gonna notice that they always repeat. Evens to sevens, ones to eights, twos to nines, threes to evens, fours to ones, fives to twos, sixes to threes, sevens to fours, eights to fives, nines to sixes, evens to sevens. So let's say you did an exercise where you did up five, down five, up six, down six, up seven, down seven, up eight, down eight, up nine, down nine. So that's an example of another exercise you can do to help yourself wake up in the morning. We'll start that one now starting from sevens. Up five, down five. Up six, down six, etc. Here we go. Sevens, up to twos. Sevens, down to twos. Now sixes. Sevens, up to threes. Sevens, down to ones. Sevens, up to fours. Sevens, down to evens. Sevens, up to fives. Sevens, down to nines. Sevens up to sixes, sevens down to eights. Sevens up to sevens, sevens down to sevens. If you wanna go further than that, you can as well. I think working with sixes, sevens, eights, and nines will be enough practice for now to help yourself quickly measure how far away approximately the market should be moving next from where it currently is. And again, guys, this is what I use to help myself wake up in the morning and get my juices flowing a bit before a trading session. I wish you guys a fantastic day and I hope you enjoyed the video and I will see you soon. Take care. Bye.